Today is going to be lemon cheesecake pudding pie. And I'll show you how to make it. It's really simple. Mix up the ingredients, throw it in the refrigerator, you're done. No baking involved. All right, let's get to it. All right, folks. Let me show you the ingredients here. We have two boxes of the Jell-O pudding pie mix. They require two cups of milk per container. I have four cups of milk in here. I'm going to put in eight ounce, one slab of cream cheese. I'm going to use half of this frosting, or you could use sugar to sweeten it up. Maybe not even half. We'll just see. Probably maybe like whatever half of one of these cubes is. Okay, and then just a little squirt of this lime juice in there, and then we're going to mix it all up with a blender, pour it over the cookies, throw it in the fridge. It's going to be a done deal. All right, first we're going to add the cream cheese into the mixing bowl, and I took this out a couple hours ago and let it get at room temperature, so that way it's a little bit softened up so we could mix it up with the blender. So now our next ingredient, I'm going to dump in these couple of packages of the lemon pudding mix. I have a feeling this is going to make a lot. It might be more than we need for that bowl, but we'll see here. Four cups of milk. I'm just going to put a, one big glob of this, probably probably a quarter of the container, not half. All right. You could use that or sugar. I just happen to have a lot of this frosting along. And uh, it really works well because it's soft and already moist. And we're just going to put a little squirt of this lime in here, maybe a couple tablespoons full. That's good. That way we get that sweet and sour kind of taste going on in there. Then we're going to stick this in here. I'll put it on low or else we're going to make a big mess grinding up that cheese. Probably want to stab the cheese a little bit a couple times here. But as you go, it's going to thicken up. That pudding mix is going to start to thicken up. And grinding up the cheese is going to thicken up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to thoroughly mix this up till it's creamy, and then we'll come back. Okay, now we've got the pudding mixture all mixed up. You see it's getting thicker. And I use my spoon to scrape the sides of the bowl a little bit in case you missed anything with the blender. All right, and don't forget to lick the spoon. Delicious. Okay, next. We're going to put the pudding into the cookies. Okay, that ought to be it. Got a full boat here. Well, folks, I had an afterthought here. I kind of didn't like the way this thing turned out. It's too plain. The pudding is setting up. The cookie's on the bottom. I think we need to add a little something on here just to make it a little bit better. How about a few cherries? Okay. You got a can of this cherry pie filling in the cupboard. I think it would be really nice on here to add a few cherries on it. You know, cherry and cheesecake goes together very well. Okay. Just enough to just enough to give it a little more flavor. Almost forgot a spot right there. Oh yeah, look at that. 
That's going to be good. Today I'm using Walmart Sherry Pie Filling. Good stuff. Okay, folks, that is going in the refrigerator now for maybe an hour or two. And it's going to be delicious. All right, it's been a couple hours, and I think this stuff is all set up. So I am going to have a little taste of it. Oh, uh, you can see, yeah. Uh, Firmed up pretty nice. So we have our pudding. And I saw a cookie on the bottom there. There it is. I imagine it softened up the cookie. Oh yeah, perfect. Hmm. Very good. Thick, creamy cheesecake pudding. I'm glad I didn't put more milk in it. It came out perfect. All right, folks, this is Big Ron signing off once again. Hope you can enjoy a nice dessert like this, and uh, we'll see you next time, okay? Thank you.